In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for SRF2, strontium fluoride. So let's just write the element symbols. We have strontium, that's SR, and then we have the two fluorine atoms. Because strontium is a metal and fluorine is a nonmetal, this is going to be an ionic compound. Electrons are going to be transferred from the metal to the nonmetals here. So for strontium, that's in group two on the periodic table. It has two valence electrons. So let's just put them out here. And then fluorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. So each fluorine has seven valence electrons. So the fluorines almost have an octet, almost have eight valence electrons. The strontium, the metal here, it can lose valence electrons to the fluorine. So the strontium loses an electron here. Now the fluorine has eight valence electrons, has an octet that's very stable. Strontium can lose another one over here. So this fluorine, now it has an octet, which is very stable. The strontium, it lost two valence electrons. Since electrons are negative, it lost two negative charges. Now it's two plus. Each fluorine got an electron, so it's going to be one minus. Often we'll put brackets around the nonmetal that received the electrons, and then have that negative charge on the outside. Often you'll see the brackets around the positive ion too as well. Either way is okay. So this is the Lewis structure for SRF2, strontium fluoride. Because we have this positive and these negatives, they are attracted to each other, and these ions, they're attracted, form an ionic bond. Note that this is just a formula unit of strontium fluoride. Strontium fluoride, that's a crystal, so the crystal would have a repeating pattern of these formula units. But this is still useful. This Lewis structure is still useful to understand how the metal, the strontium, lost electrons to the fluorine to form the ionic bond. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for SRF2. Thanks for watching.